Socrates was an ancient Greek philosopher considered to be the main source of Western thought. He was condemned to death for his Socratic method of questioning. Socrates was a scholar, teacher and philosopher born in ancient Greece. His Socratic method laid the groundwork for Western systems of logic and philosophy. When the political climate of Greece turned against him, Socrates was sentenced to death by hemlock poisoning in 399 BC. He accepted this judgment rather than fleeing into exile. Born circa 470 BC in Athens, Greece, Socrates's life is chronicled through only a few sources, the dialogues of Plato and Xenophon and the plays of Aristophanes. Because these writings had other purposes than reporting his life, it is likely none present a completely accurate picture. However, collectively, they provide a unique and vivid portrayal of Socrates's philosophy and personality. Socrates was the son of Sophroniscus, an Athenian stonemason and sculptor, and Phineridae, a midwife. Because he wasn't from a noble family, he probably received a basic Greek education and learned his father's craft at a young age. It's believed Socrates worked as mason for many years before he devoted his life to philosophy. Contemporaries differ in their account of how Socrates supported himself as a philosopher. Both Xenophon and Aristophanes state Socrates received payment for teaching, while Plato writes Socrates explicitly denied accepting payment, citing his poverty as proof. Socrates married Xanthippe, a younger woman, who bore him three sons, Lamprocles, Sophroniscus, and Menexenus. There is little known about her except for Xenophon's characterization of Xanthippe as undesirable. He writes she was not happy with Socrates' second profession and complained that he wasn't supporting family as a philosopher. By his own words, Socrates had little to do with his son's upbringing and expressed far more interest in the intellectual development of Athens' other young boys. Athenian law required all able-bodied males serve as citizen soldiers, on call for duty from ages 18 until 60. According to Plato, Socrates served in the armored infantry, known as the hoplite, with shield, long spear and face mask. He participated in three military campaigns during the Peloponnesian War, at Delium, Amphipolis, and Potidaea, where he saved the life of Alcibiades, a popular Athenian general. Socrates was known for his fortitude in battle and his fearlessness, a trait that stayed with him throughout his life. After his trial, he compared his refusal to retreat from his legal troubles to a soldier's refusal to retreat from battle when threatened with death. Plato's Symposium provides the best details of Socrates' physical appearance. He was not the ideal of Athenian masculinity. Short and stocky, with a snub nose and bulging eyes, Socrates always seemed to appear to be staring. Socrates believed that philosophy should achieve practical results for the greater well-being of society. He attempted to establish an ethical system based on human reason rather than theological doctrine. Socrates pointed out that human choice was motivated by the desire for happiness. Ultimate wisdom comes from knowing oneself. The more a person know the greater his or her ability to reason and make choices that will bring true happiness. Socrates believed that this translated into politics with the best form of government being neither a tyranny nor a democracy. Instead government worked best when ruled by individuals who had the greatest ability knowledge and virtue and possessed a complete understanding of themselves. Socrates' best quotes. The only true wisdom is in knowing you know nothing. I am the wisest man alive for I know one thing and that is that I know nothing. To know is to know that you know nothing. That is the meaning of true knowledge. By all means marry. If you get a good wife you'll become happy if you get a bad one you'll become a philosopher. Socrates. I know that I am intelligent because I know that I know nothing. Beware the barrenness of a busy life. True wisdom comes to each of us when we realize how little we understand about life, ourselves, and the world around us. He is richest who is content with the least for content is the wealth of nature. True knowledge exists in knowing that you know nothing. Beauty is a short-lived tyranny. Death may be the greatest of all human blessings. Socrates. All men's souls are immortal, but the souls of the righteous are immortal and divine. The unexamined life is not worth living. Socrates. Be slow to fall into friendship but when thou art and continue firm and constant. The greatest way to live with honor in this world is to be what we pretend to be. Be as you wish to seem. Be as you wish to seem. Once made equal to man, woman becomes his superior. Worthless people live only to eat and drink people of worth eat and drink only to live. Socrates. Wisdom begins in wonder. A system of morality which is based on relative emotional values is a mere illusion a thoroughly vulgar conception which has nothing sound in it and nothing true. Socrates. No evil can happen to a good man, either in life or after death. He and his are not neglected by the gods. Not life but good life is to be chiefly valued. Let him that would move the world first move himself. Our prayers should be for blessings in general for God knows best what is good for us. 
From the deepest desires often come the deadliest hate. The way to gain a good reputation is to endeavor to be what you desire to appear. I was really too honest a man to be a politician and live. Socrates. Employ your time in improving yourself by other men's writings so that you shall gain easily what others have labored hard for. It is not living that matters but living rightly. I know nothing except the fact of my ignorance. An honest man is always a child. Socrates. He is a man of courage who does not run away, but remains at his post and fights against the enemy. Socrates. The end of life is to be like God, and the soul following God will be like him. I decided that it was not wisdom that enabled poets to write their poetry, but a kind of instinct or inspiration, such as you find in seers and prophets who deliver all their sublime messages without knowing in the least what they mean. Socrates. False words are not only evil in themselves, but they infect the soul with evil. If a man is proud of his wealth, he should not be praised until it is known how he employs it. As to marriage or celibacy, let a man take which course he will, he will be sure to repent. Where there is reverence there is fear, but there is not reverence everywhere that there is fear, because fear presumably has a wider extension than reverence. If all misfortunes were laid in one common heap once everyone must take an equal portion, most people would be contented to take their own and depart. One who is injured ought not to return the injury, for on no account can it be right to do an injustice, and it is not right to return an injury, or to do evil to any man, however much we have suffered from him. Socrates. I only wish that ordinary people had an unlimited capacity for doing harm, then they might have an unlimited power for doing good. Socrates. Ordinary people seem not to realize that those who really apply themselves in the right way to philosophy are directly and of their own accord preparing themselves for dying and death. The poets are only the interpreters of the gods. Socrates. Beauty is the bait which with delight allures man to enlarge his kind. Socrates.